Welcome. I am Eric with Mother.com and I greet you, beloveds, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. So in today's quick video, it's going to be a setup that I've been discussing recently. Oh, by the way, a side note. I've been discussing this idea or this understanding that the market and the cryptos are tied together. I hear this argument all the time that quote unquote, the cryptos are different. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Where do they get that idea? Remember, all of these things are tied together. So as one moves up, the other one moves up. In other words, we can look at both of them as reflecting each other's overall sentiment and behavior. We see for today markets down, cryptos down. This shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. The cryptos are, in essence, a small part of the general trading landscape. And so to ignore one and not the other and just think that one trades in its own vacuum, in my opinion, makes no sense. So tracking both markets for some inkling of a guidance makes sense. All right, let's go to the video. So today's video, I'm going to go back to this concept I've been talking about recently in preparation for potential market pullback. And so I'm going to link this free video in the description. So we're going to save time. So the concept is called two wrongs and it's a very simple concept. And so lots of playlists in this free version. So lots of videos and you only need to watch one or two and you're good to go. All right. Let's take a look at an example here of a stock that was trading, uh, in the thirties or let's say higher twenties and is now trading in the under $10 price mark. Now, to understand this, just take a look at this period where it was forming a base for a new breakout. Here, it was forming a base. And so we can just move through quickly. There were a couple of daily breakout attempts here. I should have said this is a daily chart. Uh, the stock is irrelevant, but I'll give you the ticker symbol. It's just one of many that is doing this and the key is this so the failed breakouts were the first red flag the second red flag comes when we break below the base right there so first you get a failed breakout and then second red flag is your sell signal because of the violation of the base and so in other words this method could have got you out of this instrument somewhere right there at about 27 26 all right, let's go to the next example here. Carvana, ticker symbol CVNA. <laughs> CVNA. Again, all of these are daily charts. And here you can see a little bit of a different look. There is a base formation here. In fact, in this example, we don't really. And remember, they're not always going to be clean examples. Here we, we are basing, but we never even try to break out. But the key takeaway is the breakdown below the base. That's your, in my opinion, second red flag. In this example, I could say, even though not really, there was no breakout. So it was already showing signs of no breakout. That's a first red flag. And then the second red flag is the failure to hold the base together. In a sense, it would be similar to this period here where we are basing sideways, trying to decide what we are going to do. So we're basing here, trying to decide where we're going to go. And in the base, we can see a couple of breakout attempts out of this base. And all of this were multiple daily breakout attempts. And then we can see this week we broke below the base. That's your second red flag. All right. Hope that makes sense again. I would encourage you, if you have a moment, take a look at the playlist, one or two videos, and that's all you need. Now, let's take a look at this large cup stock here. I'm sure we are all familiar with it. <laughs> and again, this is the daily. All right. Now, this is a live example because the base, we can say, is right here. And I draw it that way because we see a breakout recently there. 
But now we are back and we are trading in the box right here. So the second red flag, in my opinion, could be when we break below this area. That's one way to look at it. But let me show you another way. And what I need to do here so we can see it is zoom in. Okay, now we have six months a daily view. And what I'm going to do, there is a daily closing high right there for Apple. And let's see, that price is at 165.30. And you might not be able to see it, but over the last day, in fact, today, just today, this instrument was attempting a breakout on the day. Hope you can see it. It tagged that price or close to that price. The high for the day is 164.96. So we can say that, okay, that's a failed daily breakout for now. And then what we can do is just take this low here for convenience sake, this low right here. And we can say that, let's call this a base formation with the understanding that if it breaks below the daily closing low from late November, and let me give you that price, that would be at 156.81. If it breaks below that range, then definitely you're looking at a situation of a second red flag. Of course, the first red flag is today's intraday filled breakout. In other words, if it ever breaks below this price of 156, we can say, okay, now you've done two things. A failed breakout attempt, not good. And then now you're breaking below the base. And that breakage of the base is a reason to protect capital and to get out. Ask questions later. Now, let me switch things around a little bit. Remember, this also happens for turnaround situations there is a daily closing low there there is the top of a base formation there and so we can draw our base let's do it as such notice there was a failed breakdown attempt here and then it clears the top side of this base, which is this area here. And it turns out from a swing trade perspective, that was a good entry because that was the second green flag. Of course, the first green flag was the support at this lows here where it failed to break down. Second green flag is here when it breaks out. That's your entry and you had an opportunity of riding this to the upside. So it works both ways. Once you understand the simple box trading method. Again, if you're new to this concept, just take a look in the description of this video. There's going to be a couple links. Mainly this playlist is going to give you more examples and you can consider whether this is for you or something just to be scared. At any rate, this concludes the video for today and so it is i am eric with mother.com and i leave you beloveds in the love and in the light of the one prime creator go forth therefore rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite intelligent infinity namaste